it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. For today's recipe, I'm going to be sharing with you a whole food plant-based blueberry buckle cake. This recipe is really special to me. Um, when I think about something that my mom always made, one of the things is blueberry buckle. That was something that she made a lot for family get-togethers and around the holidays and it's just something I associate that and potato pancakes very much with her. Uh, this is Mother's Day weekend here in the United States and so I wanted to do something special for you guys and kind of do something that um, celebrated my mom and for those of you guys that didn't know uh, she passed away around almost two years ago. So uh, this is my blueberry buckle cake celebrating her and I think you guys are really gonna like it. It's pretty easy we are going to make a dry and wet batter that we kind of put together, then make a crumble topping and bake it in the oven. Super simple, pretty easy ingredients, and it only takes half an hour to bake. So we're going to jump into it. We're going to go with the dry ingredients first and add our wet, um, and then we'll make the topping. I will say that all of the measurements for this is linked down below in the show notes and on our website with a free printable PDF, so you don't have to take notes. Uh, you can head down there and check it out or head to her website. So this is our dry ingredients here. I have two cups of an oat flour that are rolled oats that I've just pulsed down to a flour in my high speed blender and have in a large bowl. I'm going to add in our baking soda and baking powder. It's one teaspoon of both. Add that in. I have one tablespoon of cinnamon and that's it for the dry ingredients. Really simple and easy. Give it a quick toss, and we're gonna pour in our wet. So the only thing you have to do really ahead of time for this recipe is about, I would say about 10 to 15 minutes ahead of time, you wanna make a flax egg. And this is one tablespoon of ground flax meal mixed with three tablespoons of water. Let it sit aside and it'll get nice and kind of uh, thicken up and then it's our flax egg, so that's perfect. Uh, the other thing too is that you want to prepare is kind of our buttermilk. So this is one cup of a non-dairy milk, unflavored and unsweetened, and I've added in two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. I just let it sit and kind of make its own buttermilk and that's really easy. Another thing you may want to do before you start this recipe is have some date paste on hand. Um, date paste is wonderful, it keeps all the fiber, it is different than date syrup, so I definitely recommend making date paste. I have a video I'll link up above now. Really easy, you're going to use this for this part of the recipe and for the topping, so it's nice to make, uh, I would say around a cup of date paste ready to go. Alright, let's put it together. So we have our dry ingredients, we're going to add in the one flax egg, which was one tablespoon of ground flax meal and three tablespoons of water. Let that sit, see how nice and thick it gets. Add that in. You can preheat your oven to 350 degrees now as well. That buttermilk mixture, which was one cup of non-dairy milk and two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. You can add that in. Half a cup of date paste, preferably the stuff you make at home. This is our sweetener for this recipe. And if you've never tried making date paste, it's pretty life changing. Half a cup of an unsweetened applesauce. That's also going to help sweeten our cake a little bit. And then what you can do for the next part is you can get fresh or frozen. It doesn't really matter. And you don't even have to let the the frozen thaw out, you can just put them in frozen, but around two cups of blueberries, however you can find it. It's a key ingredient to a blueberry buckle cake. All right, we're gonna mix everything together until it's all incorporated well. I have a nine inch square pan here. I really like doing this cake in the silicone pan. If you're using a different pan, you wanna line it with parchment paper. You could also make these into muffins. Just saying, the cook time is the same. It's 30 minutes in the oven. Um, but we're gonna use our nine inch square pan today. And I have this linked in our Amazon shop, which is down below in the show notes as well for you. It should make a beautiful, bluish purple color. 
Just make sure all that flour is really incorporated well. Get a little mini arm workout. All right, it looks pretty good. Pour it into your pan and we're gonna get everything out to make the topping out after. So I'm gonna pour this in evenly and then grab everything for our topping. For the crumble, and this is optional if you wanna add it, but it will be more of a blueberry buckle cake if you make the crumble that usually goes on it. Um, I have one third cup of oat flour. I also have three fourths cups of rolled oats. It's nice to have the combination of both of the oats. You can give that a nice toss. And then you can add in any nut butter that you'd like for this. You also could sub this out for applesauce if you're trying to avoid a nut butter. I have some walnut butter here today and it's around two tablespoons. Which is kind of the rest of my homemade stuff I have here. And then it's half a cup of date paste. And again, paste, not syrup. There you have measured out. We're gonna mix this together until it makes a crumble, crumble it on top, and then bake for a half an hour at 350 degrees. And uh, the bottom of my walnut butter that I made homemade will not go to waste. <laughs> So good. Mix really well. It takes a minute to kind of make it crumble. And then I also have some freeze dried blueberries that are unsweetened um, from Trader Joe's. I also sometimes will add those into the toppings. That's kind of optional. I sometimes do it when I remember I have it. Uh, you could just leave that out though. And again, this entire recipe is in the show notes down below. And you can make this, if you're not a fan of blueberry, you can make it with raspberry, strawberry, combination of mixed berries, cherries, really whatever fruit you like. But blueberry buckle is definitely a special place in my heart um, from all the memories growing up. So what I like to do is I like to just use my hands just take a chunk of the crumble and just with your fingers kind of spread it out and just drop it on top. And we're just going to make a layer so it's completely covered. Then this is going to go into the oven around 30 minutes. Check on it. It should pass the toothpick test <laughs> to know that it's done. Um, but everyone's oven is slightly different. So it might take 35 minutes, but just check on it at 30 minutes. And you have a beautiful cake for Mother's Day or any holiday that you enjoy. I know you guys are gonna like this one. This one's a hit with everyone and it's so beautiful from those blueberries. One more tip before you put this in the oven. Take your hands and slightly just give everything a little nice smush just so that it sticks to the cake batter, the topping. So I just go around very gently and just give everything a nice pat down. And that'll just help it adhere to the cake and so that when you go to cut it, it doesn't crumble off the top. <laughs> I'll see you guys in 30 minutes when this comes out. And I sprinkled some of those freeze dried blueberries because um, it just looks so pretty. This cake also freezes well. So if you have leftovers, you can freeze it and enjoy it at a later time. All right, into the oven she goes. After 30 minutes, it should come out beautifully done. I will say that you should do the toothpick test to make sure mine took 30 minutes exactly. The other tip I have, I have two, two extra tips before we flip it, is that you wanna let it cool completely before removing it. If you remove this too early, it probably will crumble and not stay together. And also, another tip is to take a butter knife and just go along the sides just to make sure everything comes nice and clean and nothing sticks. That will result in a clean flip, I promise. So we're gonna, gonna try it. I need to get more like flat plates. This has a little lip to it, which is a little unfortunate, but should be okay. 
And if some of it crumbles, it's okay. It'll go back on top. I'm gonna kind of flip it and then flip it back. So you guys can see the nice shape. I'm gonna flip it one more time. This cake's getting flipped a lot. I, need, I have a lot of round cake, like fancy dishes, but I need a square one for whenever I do these. Turned out perfect though. So let it cool, do the edge thing, and then, you know, it should come out nice and clean. Kind of hold your breath, I know, at that moment, but it's perfect. So this is great, served with tea or coffee. I think this is a fantastic even like brunch item, or you can have it as dessert. You know, it's, it's pretty much coffee cake with blueberries in it. And it's such an important recipe to me because it just reminds me so much of my mom. Like I said, this was something that I have like a couple recipes that I just always remember her making and blueberry buckle was definitely one of them. So I hope you guys will give this a try. I'd love to see you guys post pictures of it if you make it, tag me in them, especially if you make it for Mother's Day or for any upcoming celebration. Just look how beautiful this turned out. I'm gonna, I will really post pictures on the screen. I know last video I forgot to post the pictures. I will post a picture of it now, but it's just so beautiful, holds up so well, it smells so good. You guys are going to like this one. All right, let me take some pictures of it, post it on the screen, and I will cut into this and try it. I've just been snacking on the cake. It is so good. If you guys have not tried blueberry buckle cake, um, it's kind of like a coffee cake mixed with blueberries. This recipe is so great. It's beautiful. It, like I said, it's such a showstopper of a recipe. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is so pretty. And every time I take it to, you know, a part or anything like that, it turns out fantastic. Everyone loves it and goes for it. You can make this raspberry, strawberry, mixed berry. Blueberry is definitely close to my heart and dear. So that's why I picked it. You can use fresh fruit, frozen fruit. You don't have to let the fruit thaw. Um, it works all different kinds of ways. I've tried it. This freezes great. You can freeze it for up to six months. I've tried. It turns out wonderful. It holds up and travels well. So if you need something on the go, maybe you want to make this for your kids um, for like a long road trip or something like that. Travels great. I've already been <laughs> snacking on it before. It has such a nice amount of sweetness, not too much, but then you get like these little pops of flavor from the blueberries. Perfect with tea or coffee. I love this. So I hope you guys will subscribe. I make videos every week, multiple times a week, whole food plant-based recipes. There's hundreds of recipes up on our channel right now. Check out the show notes. I have a PDF for you guys and everything is written out down below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. It means so much to me to have your support. It really does mean a lot. So check out that down below as well. If you guys could leave me a comment about your favorite food that your mom made or makes, um, I'd love to hear it. Blueberry buckle is definitely so special to me because it's just one of those foods, like I said, that remind me of my mom. And I really hope you guys enjoy this one and try it out. All right, I'll see you guys real soon for the next one. I'm going to go enjoy this piece. Talk to you guys later. Bye.